Louis, many congratulations. Debut here, Alexandra Palace, three 0 win. Things that dreams made of. Literally, I, I, like I did, I didn't know what to expect when I first got on stage. I thought it was just going to be. I didn't expect the crowd to be so loud. I didn't expect my opponent because I've never heard nothing about him before. But when we when we started getting go, and I felt a little bit of nerves, obviously. But then after it in that first double, I felt so confident for it, and oh, it was just amazing. What an experience! We saw the first set, both missed a load of doubles. When you hit the, when you hit it, crowd cheered. You give it a big one. And after that, did you feel at home up there? Literally, that's what it was. After that first double, it was massive relief off the shoulders, and I felt amazing from there. Really, a lot of pressure on your shoulders. Only 19, but. You've been dubbed the next one, the next big superstar. Did you feel that extra pressure coming into here? No, not really, Beyonce. So people can say what they want to say. Obviously, I, I, I believe in myself. Obviously, I know I can potentially reach the top, hopefully. But everyone's going to have their own opinion, whether it's a good opinion or a bad opinion. So I'll just play my own game and see where I go from there, really. It's been a mixed year for your first year on tour. How much did you learn from that European Championship game against Jose? Because obviously, we were there. It's a game that you probably feel that you should have won against the top mm. players. That little bits missed in the key times. Did you take a lot from that here? Yeah, definitely. I think so. I think that extra bit of stage practice has done me really good coming into this. And um, even though I lost against Chelsea, I thought I fell at home on the stage, and I thought I played really well. Um, so yeah, that, that definitely gave me that extra boost of confidence I needed for this one. I think. Coming into the tournament, do you set yourself any goals, expectations? Um, no, not really. I just thought, come here, you've qualified. Because I didn't really expect to qualify at the start of the year. So when I found out to qualify, I was like, right, just go into it, enjoy it. Not not too much pressure on yourself and just, just go from there really and that's what I'm doing, I've really enjoyed it up there and I'm going to enjoy my next game as well. The fact that Johnny and Gezi are flying the flag for Wales, can you go under the radar a little bit because of their success? No, not at all really. I think they deserve all the praise really, Gezi and Johnny, they're absolutely awesome so they deserve all the praise for now but then if I start doing more in the future and then build myself up to where they are then I can come under the radar a little bit and then hopefully my name's mentioned as much as theirs. Do you feel you can get to their standard? 100%, they definitely. Can. Cheers, thank you. Louis, just from what you said there, I'm not, the whole year, the year as a whole, what have you learned from your first year on top? Loads, absolutely loads. It's crazy how much how, how much I've learnt this year just from finding out what players are like, finding out what my darts are like, and it's, it's absolutely mad to be honest with you. I can't print the words how much I have learnt this year. It's crazy. In terms of just the setup as well in, in, in the PBC, being at Pro Tools, yeah. being at TV events, it's all completely new to you. And, yeah. That you've been able to do that at just such a young age, such a really good for future. Yeah, literally, 100%. Like, I, I couldn't have asked for this year to have gone any better, really. To qualify for one TV, in, uh, TV event, let alone two, and mm -hmm. be the Worlds, you know what I mean? I think that's, that's enough for, for itself, there, you know what I mean? It's quality. You say getting to two TV, TV events this year. So next year, hoping to get to more and pushing on? The yeah, field. definitely, definitely. I think you've got to have more, more goals now for next year, obviously. We finish this year first, I'll try and win the Worlds first, and then we go from there. But um, yeah, hoping to get the players next year, obviously. I, I think I was quite unlucky this year, finishing on count back on 65th. Um, but yeah, yeah, definitely try and get him more next year and do a bit better on Proto. Cheers for your time. Thank you, cheers. Nice one. What kind of a relationship do you have to Johnny Clayton and, and Doran Price? Uh, do, do they give, give you advice or something? Yeah, to be fair, I've, I've known Johnny since I was, I'd say, about 13, 14 when I started playing darts because he used to go to the same local comps as I did because uh, we lived down the same way near enough. And um, Johnny's always been the same, he's a lovely bloke, he's always full of uh, giving other people praise and giving, uh, giving compliments out and advice, obviously. Uh, so I, th I think that's helped me a little bit as well when I was a bit younger. And um, he's never changed, Johnny's a wonderful bloke. Uh, Gezi, I haven't spoke to as much, but Johnny, uh, sorry, but Gezi's sound, he keeps himself to himself a lot and he, he, he does the business on the dart bottom, nobody can say different. Um, yeah, they're, they're both quality people. You've played Gabriel Clemens once, right? Yeah, yeah. And you won. Yeah, yeah. 6-2? I think it was 6-2 or 6-3, one of the two, I'm not sure. It was either 6-2 or 6-3. Is this a factor for the next match? Yeah, maybe. maybe for I'm, him more than for ho you. Hopefully, I hope it's playing on his mind a little bit, but if it's not, then it's one of them games I'm going to have to get up there and just enjoy my darts at the end of the day and see where it goes from there.